Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. You know, before this day really gets going wild, I just want to uh, I want to reach out and just read what the Lord is placing on my heart this morning out of the book of Psalms. We're going to be in Psalms 24. We're going to go down to verse 7. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And it stops right there with an exclamation point. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. That sounds like a that sounds like a cry out to me. It sounds like a shout. It sounds like a a very loud demand. Lift them up. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. In just four lines of scripture right there, it is repeated over and over. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. So I want to ask you this morning to uh, look around your life, look around in your spirit, look around in your daily routines, and ask yourself what doors are closed. What doors have you shut yourself and it is halting the Holy Spirit from coming in? Is there doors shut to your vision? Are there doors shut to dreams and ideas and visions that the Lord has placed on your heart over the years? Uh, Have you shut doors in your life out of fear or uh, feelings of inadequacy to step into something new? Uh, for me specifically for years I've always ran away from the the thought or the notion to teach people uh, and in fact when I'm in a group setting with my peers my brothers and sisters I would always tend to want to uh, like one of my brothers in Christ Seth Moorfield he's a, he's a man that the Lord has yoked me with and I've been running with and he is a phenomenal teacher. So sometimes in a group setting, I would almost try to inquire of him and his talent to teach because of my own fear of not teaching. So I just want to declare today, you know, before the Lord that I'm not going to walk in that fear anymore. And that I'm, I'm, I can acknowledge that I'm never going to go stronger as a teacher unless I teach. So, in my own life, that's a door that has been shut. But multiple times right here, you know, David, he cries out to the Lord, Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. So I want to set my vision today on the truth, knowing that the Lord will equip me. He will strengthen me in this. Uh, Holy Spirit will speak and teach through me that I just have to be like that young boy that brought his loaves of bread and his fish to the party and God did big things with it. So ask yourself today, you know, seek guidance from Holy Spirit and say what's closed and what needs to be open. Then it goes on to say that the Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. So as these doors are exposed in your life, you know, the enemy's going to try to battle you. He's going to try to give you all these thoughts of not feeling adequate enough. And he's going to try to, you know, encourage you to keep these doors closed. And he's also going to throw temptation into your path 
so that you will just willingly keep that door shut. I want to encourage you that the Lord, He wants to use you in a mighty way today. He doesn't want the man or woman of the past. He doesn't want you relying on a word of the past. He doesn't want you to operate in a realm of not knowing or growing because of curses that may have been spoken over your life. You know, for far too long, broken men and women have spoken broken things over even more broken men and women. And what happens? We have people just not stepping out in the authority that the Lord has given us. And at that moment, the enemy's winning. So look around your life today, guys. Look around your life, ladies. And ask yourself, what doors have you willingly shut? What doors have you ran away from? And what door do you find yourself kneeling at today? When you're going before the Lord in the secret place. And you're asking Him, like... You've been praying and contending for years. You've been interceding for years. To be able to just step into this new anointing. Step into this calling that has been your desire for so long. Intercessors. What doors have been shut for so long? What have you been contending for in this nation for so long? What have you been contending for in the body of Christ? What doors are shut that the, the Spirit of God is not flowing? Where wisdom is not flowing? Where love is not flowing? Where healing is not flowing? Where joy is not flowing? Where are those doors at in your life? What doors are shut and the spirit is being quenched day by day? What doors do the body of Christ willingly close each day through thoughts of division or fear of growing? I want to encourage you today that this is a day that we actually advance the front lines. This is a day that we stand toe to toe. And we cry out like Nehemiah did. This is a day that we rebuild the wall while we fight at the same time. But that only comes when we're unified. This is a day that before they built the altar, that they would get together, or correction, before they started rebuilding the temple. That they actually built an altar and they worshipped day and night. But it was a day that also they had the prophets that were speaking life into them day and night. And the prophets actually helped them grow. I decreed and declare in Jesus name that today is a day that we throw open those doors. There's mighty things taking place in our world. And in the next couple of months, you know, there's going to be a shift in the spiritual climate in our nation. And we either open the door and step through it with authority. Or we just close it and accept what comes. Men and women, I know that I trust you so much. And I know that the Lord trusts you so much. That He has given you His heart, His desires, His power, and His authority. But we got to declare it. We have to throw open the door and we have to cry out, King of Glory, walk in. It's time to break the chains of hidden things, folks. No love, no crown. He's breaking up the fallowed ground. Like it's time to sow, grow. It's time to go. It's time to live. Like this is a moment that the moment that we open up those doors, we get to live life in a way that we never have because we've just been hidden behind a door. So I want you to open up those doors today. I want you to see what is outside and just see what the Lord has already prepared for you. We can't grow mighty if we're just sitting behind these doors any longer. Lord, I just pray right now that anyone that may hear my voice today, that you would just instantly show them what doors need to be opened, what door is closed and just preventing your glory from coming in. Father, I just ask right now that 
all the prayers that have been contending for the doors of our nation to open up, for your spirit to flow again in our schools, in our businesses, Father, in our courtrooms. I ask that through these prayers today, Father, that it would be enough to tip the bowl and that your fire would rain down, Father. I pray that wells of fire would just burn in our nation and that your living water would flow. Father, I pray right now that that we would be charged, that we would be sent, and that we would be unified, Father, in power and love. In your name, Jesus. Let's do today, today. Let's let today be the catalyst for what tomorrow will grow into. And let's be ready. I love you guys. God bless you.